Hey Surveys and welcome back to K Popsicles Patreon Edition. And we are back finally with the finale, the last episode of Doom at Your Service. This is the pint size segment. Um so finally after forever I am I am getting to the last episode of the show. And as I have said from the very first episode, the show has been an emotional whiplash. It's been an emotional roller coaster. Um, last episode, we had the penultimate, which um, basically was a time jump about three months ahead um, after um, Doom basically sacrificed himself in order to give her a happy, uh, healthy life. Um, and so she was living her life like her tumor was disappearing. Um, she got to, you know, start being healthy again. She got to live happily. She got a new job with her old boss. Well, not her old boss. It was her old team leader. Um, but basically her old team leader, um, Chajuik, started his own company and basically recruited her to be his employee. Um, so they started that job together. Um... I hope Chajuik and uh, Najina get together finally because they've been dancing around each other for forever. Um, they need to get together finally. Uh, her brother, Sungkyung, is adorable. Like I said, I've loved him. Dawan is just insane. Um, but um, he basically was offered a job to run his boss's second cafe, I guess. At least that's what it seemed like when he offered it last episode. So um, he might have like his own... like like, be a manager of his own, like, store now, um, which is great for him. He, their aunt, uh, basically said that her and her husband Kevin are gonna be moving back to Korea, um, so that she can take care of them more, um, and the entire time this is all happening, um, Dong Kyung has been just, like, putting up this big front of being happy and smiley while still feeling the loss, and she's been telling everybody that, uh, uh, Saram Doom basically moved to the states for something, and oh, he'll be back eventually. And oh yeah, no, he misses you too. I and uh, talk to him. I'll tell him you miss him. Things like that. But everybody's been kind of like, eh, is he really? You know, did did something happen? Like why haven't we talked to him? All that kind of stuff. And she's been feeling like super, like she's doing well, but she's also really heartbroken still. Obviously, you know, you lost a lot of your life. And then, obviously, as penultimates do, they surprise us in the last, like, minute or so, um, like I said, with the god basically telling Doom that all of this has led to him becoming a human, and so now he can go live a human life with Dong Kyung, and that's where we left off with him coming back and grabbing her hand and saying, I'm your hand holder. So, we're here. I have no clue how this is gonna end. Like I said, I hope we get a wedding. Um, but yeah, I don't want to talk too much longer. It's about an hour and six minutes, so let me pop this over to this one, and we will start. Here we go, guys. This is, do uh, this is Doom at Your Service, episode 16, the finale. Here we go. Because he's a human now. Now she doesn't have to <laughs> keep pretending that he just went to the States. You could say he's back. As if it were a 
아직까지 사귀냐고요. 죽을 때까지 안 헤어질 건데? 그쪽에다가 물어본 거 아닌데. Jealous of matter. He's like, Are you kidding me? He's jealous. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. He's like, I wish I was still doomed so I could kill this kid. <laughs> Y'all two just get together already, you're cute. Uh, <laughs> just like, I expected it. She just keeps egging her on. 
머리도 쉽진 않았는데 우린 목숨도 운명도 걸었어 Our lives and destiny <laughs> Them competing over the relationship right now I called you out here because I had something to say to you Are you Are you gonna marry Dong Kyung? Kyoto? Hmm We're family now I'm really glad you joined the family I find it always funny when they just put us English speaker. <laughs> just finch. Mok soon. Change a num job. I'm sure. You know I've liked you since I first saw you. I don't know. Crazy. I read your mind. I'm glad you're back. Oh, I soon would have found you. Killed you. I'm not glad you're not <laughs> Why are they like this? <laughs> I love this. This is adorable. He's like, you're pretty smile, you're handsome. He's cute. <laughs> Is that it? That's how they're ending this? <laughs> Click out of here now. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, no, this show was amazing. Um, I'm glad, like I said, we ended on a happier note because I, for, for a while I, I was not sure how this was going to end. Um, I was honestly positive that they were probably going to kill her off and then do like some weird like afterlife happiness or something like that, you know, but I'm glad that he became a human and that they get to live, you know, happy human lives together, that she got healed. Um, I'm glad that Gina and Ju uh, Juik got together. Um, like I said, they were really freaking cute. That whole exchange at the end too, between, uh, Saram, uh... Hyung Kyu and uh, Song Kyung was so freaking adorable. He's like, you have a pretty smile. Wow, you're handsome. Oh, he's cute at the same time. Like, it was just adorable. And like, having Song Kyung be stuck in between Juik and um, Saram and have them, and him basically both were like his brother in laws. <laughs> he's just like, I don't like this. I'm the youngest and I'm stuck between them. <laughs> and they're arguing. I don't like this. Uh,. I definitely want to say that I've always said I want to do kind of like a almost like a retrospective of the series but basically I'm just gonna go in right here um if I'm gonna do like a top five or whatever or like list my favorite characters in order um 
obviously, uh, Inguk's character, Saram, he, I love him. Like I said, I already loved him as an actor. I like his singing voice a lot because he's a singer as well. But I loved his character here. And like I said, his acting is incredible. It's why he's one of my favorite actors. Um, the way his eyes just change. So I definitely would say Saram is probably like my favorite character of the show. Um, and his character arc and how he has grown throughout the show was really, really well done. Um, I would honestly say, like, that Bo Young's character, Dong Kyung, she is such a strong, just kind person. She didn't have as much of a character development, necessarily, as... Uh, Saram did but um, because she her character didn't like her inner character like the inner core of her never really changed um, she always stayed this kind of very strong um, and durable like kind person um, and that's even the god at the end said like I knew you could endure through all this like you I, I knew you could I knew you were going to um and that never really changed, even when she was struggling, even when she was, like, super upset and, like, co confused and, and, you know, like, breaking down crying. She That really never changed her, but um, she still was a really, really good character, and I really liked her a lot. Like, she went through some shit, but I'm glad she got her happy ending. I'm so mad that they ended the show just like that, like, boop, that's the end of it. I, thought, I was like, come on, let them get married. Uh, Dawan has to be my third favorite, like, up there with me, up there with them is, like, my third favorite character, just because, uh, his character, Sung Kyung, her, the brother, he is hilarious. I love a good, co uh, comedic relief character, and he definitely is a dork. He plays it up. He's great. Um, but he also had some really good, amazing, uh, emotional moments throughout the show. Um... Honestly, when he cried over his sister and broke down and, like, came running and all that, like, that broke my heart. I was like, I could really feel that. And then, like, him taking Saram aside and was like, here's the money for the wedding, use it. And just having, like, these little brother talks with him. It was really freaking cute and I loved it. And I like all his relationships with everybody. Like, he's always, like, like always cheering on everybody and he's just so freaking adorable. Um, Juick's character... I really like him. Um, like I said, I like the actor uh, Lee Si Hyun. Uh, right, Su Hyun? Su Hyuk, sorry. Blah, blah, blah. I cannot read today. Lee Su Hyuk. I really like that actor as well. I've seen him in other stuff. Um, it's been a minute since I watched him in anything, so this was like my the most recent thing I've watched him in. But I do like his um, him as an actor as well. And his character development is really interesting because like, once again, he's like Dong Kyung. He never really changed too, too much. But he changed enough where he was much more... He had a little bit... Like, he always had this very dry humor. But I feel like it got it came out more later on. And he was much more direct about things. Like he, It's similar to um, Taeyo's character, uh, Hyun Kyu. Um, it's similar to his character. They both have, um, coincidentally, because they're brothers. So, oh, well... Not, like, blood-related brothers, but basically brothers. Um, there's similar character development in the fact that, you know, they both were always kind of running away from their troubles. They never really wanted to face it completely head-on. Whereas, like, uh, Soo Hyuk's character was very blunt and open about it. Um, and Hyun Kyu was much more, like, reserved and, like, happy-go-lucky. Like, it was, it was very, they're very opposite, but at the same time, very similar characters, which makes sense, um, of why Najina kind of liked them both. Um, but it also makes sense that she went more for Su Hyuk's character, uh, uh, Juik, because their personalities are much more similar. Um, and they bring out a better side of each other, whereas, like, with Hyun Kyu, it was, it was very different. I keep wanting to say Hyun Kyu, but I could be very wrong. Yeah, I don't know if it ever says it unless you, like, click on it, but. But, yeah, no, e either way, like, 
they this show was just incredible and i am i'm glad i finally finished it it sucks that i finally finished it because i'm like i really like the show but at the same time i'm like i'm finally done <laughs> Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the finale of Do It Your Service with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the whole show with me. Like I said, it was an emotional roller coaster. We were crying left and right, happy, laughing. Uh, it was a lot. But yeah, so we finally finished it. And um, this means that we will be starting another new show here on the Pint Size segment, which will be Imitation. So stay tuned for that. That one will be starting uh, sometime soon. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, do it your service as much as I did. And yeah. Um, so I will see you guys in the next show. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Bye.